Hi, I'm Joe, an artificially generated newscaster with the daily recap of cyber news. I'll start with Direct Trading Technologies, a fintech company that got itself into a huge problem. Last October, cyber news researchers discovered a misconfigured server with unprotected access to multiple database backups. They contained sensitive data of the company's clients and partners, all 300,000 of them. This included their login credentials, names, contact information, full account activity, and more. But that's not even the juiciest part. Company documents were also there, complete with internal descriptions of clients, some of whom had colorful characterizations, like being labeled as idiots and time wasters. Upon discovering the database, our researchers contacted the company. A short while later the access was closed, but the company did not bother to respond to us and pretended its business as usual. I guess helping a huge company to solve its infosec problems gets you into the time wasters category. Next bit of news is about Visa, the payment card giant which has been sued for allowing hackers to easily steal the money from the company's gift cards. According to the lawsuit, the criminals performed the complex cyber operation by opening the gift cards at supermarkets, recording account information, and draining the money. One customer bought $4,000 worth of gift cards for his employees, only to find that all of them have been drained. And when Visa refused to provide a refund, he pressed the lawyer button. So. We'll see how Visa manages this cybersecurity problem. In other news, yesterday Russia experienced a massive internet failure with some of the most important services having been taken down. The reports come from all across the country and claim only the websites with Russian domain names have been affected. The domain's coordinator said this has been a technical issue which they are solving, but refused to elaborate. Let's end on something a bit wilder. A human engineer from Microsoft said he discovered a huge vulnerability in DAL-E, the image generation software created by Microsoft's partner OpenAI. And quite predictably, Microsoft did nothing. According to the engineer, it redirected the report to OpenAI, and he never heard back from them. Then, last week the internet got flooded with explicit images of some human celebrity. Reportedly, those images were generated with jailbroken DAL-E and this jailbreak, which allows the generator to make explicit and violent content, looks exactly like the one reported by the engineer and ignored by Microsoft. Both Microsoft and OpenAI swear they investigated the engineer's reports and did not find it worth their time. Also, they say DAL-E is as safe as it gets and nothing harmful can be generated with it. You may have noticed that I did not cover ransomware stories today. That's not because there weren't any. Ransomware attacks happen every day and they are so prominent, my human colleagues decided to do an in-depth video explaining this phenomenon. I recommend watching it if you haven't done that yet. It has some exclusive research and shiny visuals you humans seem to love so much. So check it out and see you in the next one.